Hey everybody, good morning. This is Daniel. This is Morning Tea. How's everybody doing? Cheers. Mm. Hope you're having a uh, good day so far. This is Thursday. It is Thursday, November 10th. <laughs> I had to look at the calendar a couple of times. It's Thursday, November 10th, 2011. It's a beautiful, chilly morning here in Laguna Beach. How are you guys doing? How's the week going so far? For all you 9 to fivers, it's Friday tomorrow. Um, for everybody else, today is a full moon night, isn't it? Uh, I, I don't have my calendar right with me, but I believe it is a full moon night. So make sure today put your crystals out for the moonlight to cleanse and clean and, and energize. And if you have your sage and your candles, make sure you do a little house cleaning. I will be posting the... Uh, recipe or the details and the instructions on how to cleanse your home on my Facebook page. For those of you that do not have a Facebook page, you are welcome to go to examiner.com. That's examiner.com and in the search engine put my name Daniel Garza and all my stories will come up and among those is it's called spring cleaning because I did it in the springtime but you can do it now too so make sure you go there and uh, check that out. Um, today I want to talk but I'm sorry, I'm, I'm setting up my cards because I forgot to do it when I sat down for coffee with my tea, I'm sorry. Um, today, I, I had a really good friend yesterday come over, Janine. Uh, thank you, Janine, for coming over and honoring my home. It is always a pleasure, and I love having your energy in my house. Um, one thing that we talked about with her, and let me just do one quick shuffle, and I will be back to you guys. Um, one thing that her and I talked about yesterday was the value of like, love, and respect. Three very important things that have helped me in my process of recovery and overcoming uh, my health issues. First of all, like. I can't like... I, I, I need to like myself so that other people can like me. I need to like things about me. I need to have something. It can start with the way I talk, the way I walk, my smile. Me personally... Um, I like my eyes first. Um, I like my lips. Uh, I've been I've, com I've been complimented on my lips a lot over the years, um, and it starts with just little things, and then fixing the stuff that I don't like or getting over it. There are things that I just can't do. I can't be unless I get contacts and dye my hair. I'm not going to be blonde, blue eyed. But I really like my hair, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I need to like my stature. I always wanted to be taller, but 5'7 is pretty cool in my book. So I had to learn to like myself so that people around me could like me too. If I don't dislike myself and I'm going to put myself down, how would other people know the good stuff about me? My joke with some of my friends is I always say I'm adorable, and that's my thing. I am adorable. And they've caught on, but it, it catches on. So like yourself so that other people can like you. Love. I need to love myself. I needed to forgive myself for all the stuff that I did when I was younger. Everything with drugs and alcohol and sex. Uh, I, I, I forgave all that for myself. And that's a very hard process to forgive yourself. But I had to forgive myself in order to love me. And then I nurture myself. I take myself on dates. I like to go out for an apple and by the beach and have some coffee and just watch people. And, and I talk to myself and I talk about people. Do that. Learn to love yourself. Because before you can recognize love in others, you have to recognize it in yourself so that I can know what love feels like. Once I really loved myself, I saw it in other people and I recognized it and I wanted that. And then it came back to me. Does that make sense? Number three, respect. Respect yourself. I had to, you know, coming from a, a drug and alcohol uh, background, um, there's a lot of loss of respect and I was accepting bad things around me or the things that people were giving me as so. I thought that's all I deserved until I started showing myself a little more respect. Now I expect that respect from other people and if you do not measure up to a certain level of respect, you are not welcome in my circle. Why would I accept somebody who disrespects me? I wouldn't do it to other people, so why accept it in my life? So three lessons for today guys. Like, love, and respect. Get a check on those. See where you are in those aspects. Figure what you need to do and do it. Change it. Because you won't know what it's like. You, you, you can't like people unless you like you. You can't understand and re you can't uh, recognize love unless you love yourself. And people will not respect you unless you respect yourself. So three lessons for today's guys. And putting out the card. 
it says, ha, huh, perfect card for today. Nurture yourself. It's a perfect time to nurture yourself. Mother Mary is telling you, nurture yourself so that you can know how to like, love, and respect yourself. What an excellent card to pull out. And because you're sensational. There we go. Because you are a sensational person, learn to, can you see that? There we go. Nurture yourself because you're a sensational person and you will learn the value of like, love, and respect. I still work on them sometimes. It's not always easy, but I do my best. And uh, it helps me move forward and it helps me put people, it, help, it brings the right people into my life because they recognize the like, love, and respect. And it keeps people who will not value those things at bay. They it will keep them away from me. And that's what you want. You don't want negative people coming around. Yes, I know, when you work and you're out and you're social, people will be around you and people will come up to you. But having that level of respect and having that level of love and that level of like will keep, will not allow them to keep coming back to you. Just give it a try, and I promise it's going to work out. Um, I want to send, uh, I mean, I'm really grateful that uh, that this new chapter of Morning Tea is working. Uh, thank you for all the new people that are watching. Uh, and just a quick uh, information on Morning Tea. It, it's early in the morning. I do it while I drink in my tea. And... Uh, it's not edited. This is one take only. So whatever I say, if I make a mistake, it stays. So that you guys can, uh, you're right there. It's like we're having a conversation, I hope. Um, but I want to give a couple of shout outs to uh, Debbie. Debbie, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I wrote down your name somewhere and now I can't find it. But Debbie, you know who you are. And I will see you at karaoke on Friday night, hopefully. And uh, my friend Tori over at Soul Garden, uh, we just became friends this morning. And hi, Tori. I hope you're having a great day. Um, and everybody else uh, that watches, thank you guys. I hope you have a great Thursday. And I will see you tomorrow. Cheers.